I just want to give glory to God for your presence, for your company, for your sewing into this ministry. Honestly, I can't even say thank you because I, I can't take any of that credit. I would have nothing good or worthwhile to say to you if it wasn't for Holy Spirit. You know, I'm just simply blessed to work here. And I just want you to know that you truly are the blessing. You who are God's people, I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful to call you family. This word is about breakthrough. And I know we use that word a lot, but breakthrough is not just a big blessing. What's happening, something is happening now in the spirit. And this can be likened to the number, which you know I don't get them too often, but 123 has now gone to 1234. And this is likened to the Hebrew word balka, which is about breakthrough, breakthrough. And if you recall, within the last few months, the Lord has been saying through this ministry, don't stop pushing until it breaks. Don't stop pushing until it breaks. Something is broken through. There's a breaking now, um, water breaking prior to the birth of promises, breakthrough. Um, the windows of heaven, he's been speaking about breaking, a breaking, a breaking, a coming out. Hallelujah. And this is going to be evident in your life in many different forms. This will be evident in your life by a sense of freeness and understand that the greatest blessings are inside because where you formerly were stopped up because of the breakthrough you're able to create now and i'll be honest as a as a less mature believer when i would hear the word create it didn't really strike me as anything profound you know wow okay understand that god created all things on this earth he created all things on this earth by his spoken word creation is that the foundation of anything that could ever be manifested in your life is creation whether god speaks something into your life and it comes to be or whether you create it from the ground up Formerly, you weren't able to create these things prior to this breakthrough that's happening in the spirit now. And again, this might not be like a big slap in the head moment where you just look around and, and you know, you're not in Kansas anymore. This is going to be more like a, you're going to feel this. But from this feeling, this breakthrough, this opening, hallelujah, it's opened. Yeah, it's opened. You know, the levees have broken. The water is breaking. And from this, the promises are birthed. And there's we're talking, um, you couldn't do this formerly. You couldn't do this formerly because of where you were spiritually. This is a time that the Lord is, is pouring his spirit out on believers and breakthrough. Is, this is all about timing. This is about God's timing. And it's a miraculous time to be a believer because, again, formerly you couldn't do these things. You could have done all the right things before. You could have done all the right things and it wouldn't go through because you are you belong to the Lord. And he said, no, it's not the time because formerly you were surrounded on all sides by em enemies. Formerly, the Lord said, build the temple, but we will not build it now. There's a promise to build, but the promise was not for that time. Yet this is the time with this breakthrough. Hallelujah. So with this time, with this breakthrough coming through, you are now going to be able to build. Creation is going to be at an absolute manifestation high in your life. This is not a time to be idle as if there ever were. This is a time to start going back in your notebooks. This is a time to start looking back in the former things that you once desired to do, that you once wanted to do. The Lord is going to give you new revelation of new things to do. If you never were so bold as to desire or to have a dream, this is the time. Why? Because the Lord is, is you know, when he pours his spirit out, it's for a reason. It's for the purpose of repositioning his believers. But if we as his believers sit on the couch all day, every day, um, you know, we can have the Holy Spirit, but, you know, it's not a genie. He's not a genie within us. You know what I mean? We are required to work together to co-create. Hallelujah. So this is like an allowance. This is like a grand allowance. And this is not a time to worry about provision or how it, it once didn't work. This is a time to understand that. In this particular window, this is like a window. I keep hearing that too. This is a window because again, it's all about timing. There are, you know, we are led by the Holy Spirit. If you want to do something, you may have the best plans, but to do it at the wrong time when it, God's hand is not on it, it will fail. It must fail. 
yet to do something in the right time, not only is it going to succeed, but it's going to multiply. What you're putting out now is going to multiply. The one seed you plant is going to you know, reap a harvest. What you put out from giving to creating to your words, I'm just searching to see what's there. I look around, it's like, um, you know, uh, I know I often look off, but that's, I think best, even when I'm talking, if I were to talk to you in person, it would often be like this. That's just, I see better that way. But the things I'm trying to think of, the things that the Lord is speaking about creation in your ministry, especially, you know, understand that if, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a personally, I'm a musician, I'm, I'm a writer after, you know, ministry, of course, and these things I haven't touched in a long time because it just wasn't time. And the Lord said, no, we're, we're in ministry or focusing on ministry. But even he has been leading me back into music because these things, the things that he's put in you, he's going to now make fruitful. He's going to now have his hand on them because it's time for his people who he has elevated in faith. It's time for them to speak through their gifts, through the things that the Lord has put in them. It's time for them to speak all that life over creation. Hallelujah. Many will be blessed by this, what you can do, what no one else can do. What can you build? Can you build? Yes, he did. Uh, what, you know, if you're a builder, if you're a creator, there are many people who work with their hands. This is such a blessed thing by the Lord to work with your hands. That's our Lord Jesus worked with his hands. Truly a blessing. Understand that wood, um, you know, oil. I'm hearing, I don't know, um, you know, just um, concrete, um, clay, different things. Um, Perhaps, you know, oil I can liken to is painting. I'm not sure, um, perhaps other things too, but understand that these things are so blessed in this time. You are absolutely blessed in this time to bring forth what the Lord has put in you. He's going to multiply it. His hand is on it. The breakthrough is here. And I want you to see that. I want you to see the waters breaking. Visualize it. Because again, it's not just like a breakthrough, like the Lord is dropping stuff on your lap. No, he's saying, this is the time. The waters have broken. I have divided the waters. I have broken the waters, you know, of the woman who is pregnant and her water breaks because it's bring, she's bringing the promise forth. Understand that that breakthrough couldn't happen before. She can't have the baby before it's full term. Your faith had to go somewhere. The Lord had to pour out. You had to be positioned. All these things had to come together for this beautiful, uh, perfect time. Hallelujah. And it's very exciting time. So go forth. You'll feel, you'll feel that release. You're going to feel a release. He says, you're going to feel the release to go forth to create. I'm going to give you the idea. You don't have to search for it. You know, pray, uh, just being, being in close communion with the Lord, but fish around. I keep hearing that too. Fish around within yourself, fish around within yourself of the things you may have locked away or put away or thought you were no good out. You know, if you, any good idea comes from the Lord, any good idea in you, it comes from the Lord. So don't negate it. Don't throw it away. Uh, sometimes you think you're not good enough and you put things away. Any good idea comes from the Lord and the Lord can't fail, right? So fish around in you, see what you got because the Lord is going to multiply it, bless it, his hand is on it and breakthrough is here.